What is the most simplest way to add automation to your trading without knowing any code? Well, that's what we're going to be discussing today. And just to be clear, just because it's simple doesn't mean it's the best, but we'll show you exactly what we mean step by step right after this. If you have any questions about what we're going to be talking about, just toss them below in the comments box. Anyways, let's start off with something very simple. I'm going to draw a line on this chart and what I want to have happen is for an order to be submitted if price crosses above this line. I want to do this without any code, so how do I do it? First, this is an NT8 tutorial, so if you're going to try this on NT7, it's not going to work. So step number one is draw your line directly on your chart. Okay, select that line and then right click on it and select alerts. So let's read through this. The condition says if the instrument crosses above the line we just drew, then what we configure next is going to happen. So press OK. If you're not familiar with this alert screen, we'll toss in the video in the description, but you'll want to watch the video called Creating Alerts Within NT8 First. Okay, now pay close attention to what is underneath the actions area. At the bottom, which you might need to use the scroll bar to see it, click the add button. The very last option is the one that says submit an order. Okay, you're going to select it and then you'll start to see things like the account, the instrument, the action you want, etc. Okay, um, now for now, I recommend that you guys do this on a demo account and do all your testing there in that demo account. And once it meets your own expectations, select any other account you wish. Okay, so once done, press OK, and we'll press OK again. Now, it doesn't matter where we move this line. As long as price goes above it and meets that condition that we set, we're going to see an order fire off. Now, let's say we want to make it work with an indicator. Okay, what we want to do is fire off an order if, let's just say, just as an example, RSI gets below 30. So how do we do that? Okay, so open up the market analyzer and add in all the instruments. Okay, right click anywhere on the market analyzer and go into columns. Now add in the column called indicator and select RSI. By the way, if you do need a tutorial on how to use the market analyzer, we do have one for you. So you might want to review that video first if you're lost. It's called the guide to the NinjaTrader 8 market analyzer. I highly recommend watching that one first. Okay, now that you got RSI added as a column, we have all that data populated. We need to create an alert condition. So right click on the market analyzer window and go into alerts. Okay, now let's add in a condition. Okay, if the RSI on the one minute data is less or equal to the numerical value of 30 now press ok let's add in the action so if it's less than 30 maybe we want a buy order so add the submit an order option okay your buy order and then press ok you might want to add in a condition that says that the value is above 70 that you might want to sell but that's going to be a total separate alert Now, if RSI crosses below 30, it will submit your buy order. And if it's above 70, then it's going to submit your sell order. So this should get you started with the basics of automation, okay, uh, without knowing really any code. Anyone with experience will see the limitations of this, but it is a start of what you might need, but is by far not the end. So enjoy experimenting. Don't forget to download our news alert tool as well as our price line indicator. Both are totally free and the links are in the description below. I appreciate you guys watching. Any questions, just leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next video.